I just want everybody to know that this is a black eye right here, black eye. That is what happens when you do not let your wife eat the last Oreo. Okay, so let him eat the, the last Oreo. Tell everybody, everyone we know, we ain't got time for that today. Cause we got somewhere, we're about to go. Big dreams that take us far away. Here we go, we're taking off, and we know we can be stopped. Tell the stars we're coming up. Blow it up like camera rays. Ooh, girl, you look cute. That's a fit. What's your hoodie say? I don't know. I've had this since I was a wee little lad. A wee little lad. What kind? Of, that was a good accent, honestly. I don't know. I'm you got a fox. Good. You got a fox on your hoodie. Mhm. Mm hey, I have a serious question for you right now. Madison Heron, mm -hmm. what does the fox say? Dinner time. Um, we have no idea what's in the fridge other than this chicken that we bought two days ago. Okay, we don't need to tell people how old our chicken is. Okay, well, they need to know. Makes me look like a bad, well, I mean, I'm not like an amazing cook, but I'm learning. You're doing great. This right here is our fridge. This is my favorite thing in the house. Although, it's very empty right now. But, we do have those. Plus These TV. right here, look. Cinnamon roll! The here. legs are tied together. Yeah, they tie them together so they don't run away. You didn't know that? But it's already cooked, why wouldn't they just cut that off? Because they don't, they don't want it to run away. Don't you know that chickens can live once their, cut, their heads get cut off? No, it's snakes. No, That's it's, why it's they chickens the too. <laughs> if anybody has any cooking advice, I'll take it. My dad always told me, if you can read, you can cook, and I believe that. That's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, but here we are. you got a whole chicken wing. I know. But if you have any just really good recipes, not recipes that will feed um, a whole neighborhood, but just two people that are cheap, we'll take it. Just comment all your favorite recipes, as well as um, any links to Chick Fil A gift cards. We will take those as well, uh, or Cash App, payable to Noah Heron. Baby, you cooked bacon, then you stuck this back in there, you didn't clean it. I thought it was a self-cleaning one. So no? It smells good, because it smells like bacon, but... See, I was happy. way ahead of you, babe. It's like a bacon have... candle! Has anybody ever thought of having a bacon-scented candle? Did we just get rich? A bad son. So the deal is eat healthy. You got your rotisserie chicken, mm, some carrots, some carrots, Ooh. some really good corn. Noah loves things. corn. Funny story, Thanksgiving, um, last year I look over, Noah's like not eating anything but a whole bowl of corn. Anyway, so right now, oh that's not so bright. Oh that's not so bright. Oh that's not so bright. We get to go get ice cream. We're going to this local place for ice cream. Uh, fun fact, my mom actually worked here when she was in college. My mother, shout out to my mother. I know you're watching this video, we love you. Love you. <laughs> Either want, um, I always wanna call it snickerdoodle, it's not snickerdoodle, what is it? You um, like Butterfingers. Butterfingers. <sighs> I'm a Reese's guy, you know what I mean? I like the Reese's. Reese's are better. But. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly time. I got Butterfinger, but with a little hint of brownie bite. Let me see it. Ooh, that looks so good. I want a bite. I ain't even gonna lie. Hers is better than mine. Maddie had to run back in to use the restroom. And uh, it's a good thing she took her ice cream with her because I would eat the entire thing. I wish I had more self-control when it came to ice cream, but I'm gonna be real real with you guys. If we ever hang out and you have ice cream, don't, don't offer it to me, okay? Go big or go home. Why? There's only one stall. <clears throat> Some people have lots of money to, you know, go to the zoo all the time. Or I don't know why that was my first thought oh, of a date. I was asking you to go to the zoo. Oh. 
they have lots of money, they can just go to the zoo or go to Disney World the next day or, you know, go eat Red Lobster for dinner, which sounds amazing. Right. Unlimited shrimp. You know, for the rest of us, balling on a budget. Date night sometimes has to be $3 ice cream, some leftover dinner food that you heat up and try to act like you know how to cook, and a little walk, a little walk. I know how to cook. You do know how to cook, babe. You do so good. I love this date. Anyways, exercise, we love ice cream. this date. Also, this date means a lot to us um, because one of our first dates here where we live in Tennessee when Maddie came to visit was here. We went and got this exact ice cream, didn't we? Yep. And except we got M&Ms in it yeah. and, we, and we split one because that was after we had kissed a couple times. So at that point, we didn't care about germs. <laughs> I still don't. Okay guys, something that you might not know about me. Noah is afraid of ducks. I literally hate ducks so much. Like, I can't explain it. I did get bit when I was little. It might be duck PTSD a little bit. He says bit. it's their neck. I don't understand it. I just want you to see their necks. I'm gonna zoom in for you to see it. Not today, Satan. So about a year and a half ago, um, I started posting this thing on my Instagram story. Every day, at the beginning of the day, I would just post like random things, like it could just be me like at a coffee shop or whatever, but I would write on my Instagram story, gonna be the best day ever. And I've been doing it every day for a year and a half now. Some people will respond and they'll be like, how do you stay so positive? Or whatever and the truth is i'm not always positive maddie yeah. lives with me now so she can tell you that um but i got to this place where i was like really discouraged in life and i just got fed up with my circumstances affecting my joy and my circumstances yeah. affecting my outlook on life um, because my circumstances weren't great a year and a half ago um so right before i met maddie and i was just like really lonely and um, just kind of struggling in life in general. I was just like, you know what? Just because things aren't perfect doesn't mean I can't be happy. And so now we both kind of live on that mantra of gonna be the best day ever, just waking up. And even if that day doesn't seem like it's gonna be great, we're gonna try to make it yeah. great and we're gonna believe it's gonna be great. We declare it at the beginning of the day. I read an article once and it was talking about like winning your day and it was a, from a military guy, so he pretty strict, had his, you know, he was in order. And he just said, if you can declare positivity over your day and make your bed. Um, oh, I read that. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but we make if, our bed every day. Yeah. So if you can declare positivity in yourself and over your day and you can make your bed, then you've already won the first part of your day. Yeah. And it makes the day so much better. <gasps> you feel accomplished. Mosquito. Hasn't been like the best week for us. Like, like we're fine, but just like in life, you know, like sometimes life is hard. Anyways, we feel really good tonight and relieved and just thankful. And we just want to remind you guys that you're doing better than you think you are. Chances are you're probably your biggest critic. Keep going. Right? Never yeah. quit. Exactly. Remember the small things. Remember the, the the small things that you find joy in. Like mm -hmm. for me, it's being outside and like watching the sunset, or just like getting fresh air. Which we're doing right now. Which we're doing right now. Doing right um, now. But when the school year can start or a season can start, it can get like really hyped up, and then you start getting in the groove of things. Yeah. And then you just kind of feel like you're in a rut sometimes. Get crazy just, stressed. Yeah, you're stressed, you've got a lot going on. Um, get so, a black eye from your wife. Okay, that's not true. Please don't believe that. He was playing <laughs> basketball. Give yourself some grace. Yeah. We just wanted to say we love you guys. Um, we know that things can get hard sometimes or difficult, but we believe in you. Um, you should believe in yourself. You're doing great. 
and you're gonna make me cry right now babe. are you talking to me yeah talking to everybody we we need a little bit of encouragement i call it confetti um my friends and i we call it throwing confetti sometimes in situations where there is no confetti yeah um that's good so throw, throw a little party on some situations that are like bleh. You know what I mean? That's all for uh, this episode of uh, No and Maddie. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Remember to... <laughs> Take a <TED> talk. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to do all the things that you do on a YouTube video. All right, we love you guys. Love y'all. Have a great night. <gasps> oh. see me roll on the head. Tell everybody, everyone we know, we ain't got time for that today.